Hello everyone, welcome to this exciting demonstration where I'll show you how to create a stunning professional property listing website using this incredible web application built with Vue.js 2 and Google Apps Script. What makes this application amazing is that it requires zero hosting costs since everything runs on Google's infrastructure, and it comes with an admin site to manage properties and site configuration. All the data is stored in a Google Sheet, with property images securely saved in Google Drive, making it efficient and cost-effective. Whether you're showcasing residential properties, commercial spaces, or rental units, this system has you covered. Today, I'll use a residential property catalog as our example, but you can definitely use it for other real estate areas as well. Let's dive into this beautiful application and explore both the customer-facing property listings and the powerful admin panel to customize site content. First, let me show you the gorgeous customer-facing website. Look at this beautiful homepage with its stunning hero section. The design looks incredibly professional, featuring a sleek navigation bar with the company logo. The main navigation includes direct links to home and all listings pages, with the current page highlighted in blue for clear user orientation. But what really sets this navigation apart are the two sophisticated drop-down menus, all categories and all tags. The Categories drop-down dynamically displays all available property types, like house, apartment, condo, commercial, etc., that you've configured in your admin settings, allowing users to quickly browse properties by type. The Tags drop-down lists all the tags that you have configured in the admin settings, allowing users to see tag-specific properties. The Featured Property section is where the magic happens, displaying our hand-picked property collection in responsive cards. You can set which properties go into which sections in the admin front, which acts like a light CMS for the site. Each property card shows multiple images stored in Google Drive. Property details, including bedrooms, bathrooms and area, property type and custom property tags, and smooth hover animations that create an engaging user experience. What's really impressive is the category-based filtering system. I can filter the featured properties by property types right at the top. And when I click on one of these properties, a beautiful property detail modal appears, showcasing full-resolution property images in a nice carousel view, allowing you to view multiple pictures very easily. You will see the property location, detailed descriptions, amenities and features lists, property specifications, and a direct contact agent button that opens WhatsApp with loaded property details. The system is designed specifically for real estate, so there are no payment buttons, just direct agent contact for inquiries. The site also supports category-based navigation. When I click on a property type category, it navigates to a category page showing all the properties in that category. And down below, you'll find buttons for other related categories that help the user swiftly change the category page. You'll also see related tags, and clicking on one brings you to all the properties with that property tag. Similar to categories, it supports tag-based filtering, allowing us to browse all properties containing the clicked tag. You can also go to the Category page by simply picking any category when you hover over the All Categories tab. Similarly, you can quickly view all the properties belonging to any particular tag by picking it from the All Tags menu. Back to Home page. There's also an All Listings page accessible from the navigation that shows every property in your database. This All Listings page is absolutely incredible. It's like having a professional real estate search engine built right into your site. At the top, there's a comprehensive search bar with a location input field that allows users to search by city, state, or zip code. But what really makes this page special are the intelligent filter dropdowns. Users can filter properties by transaction type, price ranges, bedroom and bathroom combinations, listing status, and home type. There's even a More button that reveals advanced filters, including square footage ranges, lot size options, and additional property specifications.
Once users apply their search criteria, they can see exactly how many properties match their requirements, with active filters displayed as removable tags below the search bar. The page also includes a clear All Filters button for easy reset. The results can be sorted by newest, oldest, price, or size. The property listings are displayed in a responsive grid using the same beautiful property card components, and users can click on any property to view detailed information in the modal. Now, let's scroll to the footer section. The footer is packed with features and can be fully customized from the admin panel. It includes social media links, company contact information, and quick links to important pages like About Us, privacy policy, and terms and conditions, all of which are plain HTML pages that you can customize in the script editor I'll show you later. There's even an email subscription form for newsletters. Let me demonstrate a quick subscription here. I will enter an email ID here, and then click the subscribe button. It should add new subscribers to the connected Google Sheet, and you can see the newly added subscriber right here. Now, let me show you the real power of this system, the admin panel. Welcome to the admin dashboard, where real estate agents and property managers can manage their entire property catalog with ease. The interface is clean, professional, and incredibly user-friendly. In the Properties section, you can see all your properties in a beautiful list view, with each property displaying thumbnail images, property details including ID, property type, bedrooms, bathrooms, area, and status, section assignments like Featured, Premium, or Trending, though only the Featured section has been implemented in the site for now, along with Tag Management and Status Tracking. The search functionality is lightning fast. Just type anything and it instantly filters through all property data. Let me add a new property to show you how easy this is. Look at this comprehensive property form where the system really shines. You can set rich property data like property name and detailed descriptions, enter address information including street, city, state, zip code, and country. The image upload system is awesome, allowing you to upload multiple images directly to Google Drive, where the system automatically generates thumbnails and manages all file handling so you don't need to worry about image hosting or optimization. Then enter property type from your predefined categories, property specifications like bedrooms, bathrooms, area, carpet area, floor number, total floors, furnishing status, parking availability, pet policy, rank, availability date, and availability status. You can also mark it featured to make it appear in the featured section. You can also enter amenities and features one per line. Similarly, you can enter other property specifications. The Smart Tag System features a beautiful tag dropdown where you can select multiple tags, showing a nice preview with the ability to remove tags easily. After saving the property, it immediately appears in our list with all the data properly organized. Now, let's check the newly entered property in our property listing site also. And here you have it. It also appears in the Google Sheet. Now, let's check out the settings page where you can configure your entire site. This is incredible because you can customize basic settings like the site name and logo with automatic Google Drive integration, the deployed site URL for proper redirects, and locale settings for international use. You can customize the title and subtitle for the hero section and even set a hero image that will be displayed prominently on the homepage. You can also manage company information, including complete company descriptions and social media links for all major platforms, as well as property type and tag management, allowing you to add or remove property categories dynamically, and manage tags with a beautiful interface, with everything updating in real time across the site. Contact information such as phone numbers and email addresses can be set, all displayed beautifully in the footer, along with footer links for About Us, Privacy Policy, and Terms of Service, which automatically redirect to the right pages. You can set up quick links for various pages such as About Us, Privacy, and Terms and Conditions in this format, the page title followed by a colon and the page name. The page name corresponds to the actual name of the page as it appears in the script editor. You can easily edit these or add custom pages, which I'll demonstrate later. Now, let's get to the most important part. How do you make this property listing system yours? First, make a copy of the spreadsheet using the link provided in the description below.
Next, open the script editor by navigating to Extensions and selecting App Script. Once there, take a look at the page mapping. You can modify the respective pages except for the index.html page. For instance, to edit the About page, go to About.html and update the content as needed. If you want to make further modifications, such as customizing the property card, you can do so by editing propertycard.html. Similarly, you can modify other components like the property detail component. You can see several components here on the left side. Tweak it to suit your requirements. The project is designed in a highly modular fashion, making customization straightforward and efficient. Once you've made your changes, hit Save and proceed to deploy the project. To deploy, click the Deploy button, then select New Deployment. Choose the deployment type as Web App, and in the description box, type something simple like Version 1. Set Execute As to Me and Who Has Access to Anyone. Then click Deploy. You'll be prompted to authorize the code. Go ahead and grant all necessary permissions. After the deployment completes, you'll receive a Web App URL. Open this URL in a new tab. At this point, you'll notice that the site name and logo are blank, and several site configurations are missing. You'll need to provide these details in the Settings tab of the admin site. To access the admin site, open the same web app URL again, but this time appended with Admin at the end. This will open the admin site, which can only be accessed by the spreadsheet owner and requires you to be signed into your Google account. To demonstrate, let me try opening the admin site using a different account. Here, it shows you are not authorized to access this page. Now, let's return to the admin site opened in my Google account. Navigate to the Settings tab, edit the site configuration as needed, and save the settings. You must enter the copied web app URL here, and then save it. Once saved, your site will be fully set up and ready to go. That wraps up the Project Setup section. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.